Hey guys, the objective of this video is to solve a complex problem using work and energy concepts. So we're gonna jump straight into this problem. Uh, so we have, uh, we're told that John hits a hockey puck across a frozen lake at an initial velocity of 10 meters per second. And we're told if the coefficient of kinetic friction between the puck and the ice, so our mu k is equal to 0.05, we're asked to calculate the distance the puck will travel before stopping. And we're told that the puck has a mass of 0.5 kilograms and the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meters per second per second. So this is our situation we have here. If we want to draw the free body diagram, uh, we would have a um, gravity force. So a gravity force would act down here and we'd have a normal. And we would also have the force of um, kinetic friction, so Fk, would be acting back this way, and this is our free body diagram. So basically, uh, work is done only by the um, force of kinetic friction. This is because the other two forces, so the gravity force and the, um, the normal force, both act perpendicular to the movement and don't actually affect um, the work done because there isn't a distance. So what we have to consider is the um, force of kinetic friction. So in doing that, we do actually need to work out this uh, normal force. So we're gonna go ahead and work out the gravity load and then subsequently the normal force. So the gravity load is just gonna be uh, five, 0.5 times 10. So mass times acceleration gives us a force. So that's gonna be five newtons. And that means our normal force is also gonna be five newtons. 